Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how you can use the online Adobe Color app with Photoshop Elements. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. Hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. And also take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, you'll find the Adobe Color app at color.adobe.com, and that's right up there in the address bar. There are a lot of really interesting features about this. This is a great way to work on figuring out color schemes for your images. It's more useful, of course, for graphics style images, cards, scrapbooks, things like that. Very interesting tool. Let me just show you quickly around here. First off, we're at the color wheel setting right now. We'll come back to this one. This is the main area to work in. Also, we have extract theme. You can open up a picture in here and it will grab five colors out of that picture. We'll try to find the best ones. You can move these things around if you want to, to choose different colors, but we'll try to find the five best. Let me show you how this works very quickly here. I'll go to replace image. I'll just choose a new picture. I'll choose that one right there. And it goes through and it finds five basic colors out of this image. And it did a good choice. I actually found the five main colors. I think that's off by just a little bit. I'll put it right there. That's better. So there we go. Now here you can also choose different settings, colorful, bright, muted, deep. And it'll give you variations on these. Next to that we have extract gradient. You can do the exact same thing. If there is a gradient in your image, it'll extract that gradient or you can build a gradient from your image. Let's just go ahead and find a gradient in here. And I'll choose one right here and choose open. There's a background gradient in here as you can see. So I'm going to come down here. I'll choose that spot right here. I'll move this one halfway up. You know, put it right there. That's a good spot. And I'll go up here to the very end. So there's that gradient that's in that background. So pretty easy to use on the gradient. Now one of the most interesting things here is accessibility tools. Let's just first go back here to extract theme. And I'm going to change this back to that first picture that we had right there. Choose open. There we go. Let's now go to the accessibility tools. And in here, it tells you if there's a problem for people who have color confusion or color blindness. You can see right here, these two colors are connected. These will look the same under certain conditions for people with certain colorblind problems. What you can do to fix that is to take one of these and move it around a little bit until it no longer links up. You see here, it's come down here. They're now linking right there. Little dashes in there. Put it down a bit, the dashes go away. So it allows you to adjust your colors to stay away from colorblind issues. So again, very useful tool here if that's a concern for your image. So now go back to our first one here, the color wheel. As you can see, it kept my colors from the extract theme and also from that adjustment that we did here. It kept those colors for the color wheel. In here, real fast look, we have five colors as you can see right here. There you go. You can look at any one of these just by clicking on this and get a variation for your whole color wheel based upon that base color. On the left hand side we have several settings in here. Here's analogous. These are all similar colors. And with this you can take the middle control and move everything around like that. And you can pull either one of the ends and spread these out or bring them together. And these will give you color sets that work well together. Analogous, monochromatic, triad, complementary, a split complementary, double split, square, compound, and shades. So lots of different ways of working with this. There we go. Let's just go right there. That's pretty good. Now how you use this with Photoshop Elements is pretty straightforward. Now if I was working in Adobe's Photoshop program, I could save this particular set and then simply open that up in Photoshop, which has access to this site. We don't have that with Photoshop Elements, so we need to do a little bit of a workaround. And that's right down here, these numbers down here. These are your hexadecimal numbers. This is what the web uses for determining colors or showing colors. And it's simply a combination of your three basic color modes here, your RGB and your lightness across the bottom. And that's what those numbers mean. I won't get into the details about that, but it's a hexadecimal number. And to get this, come over here, bottom left hand corner, it says color mode. And make sure this is set to the RGB mode. This is the color mode that Photoshop Elements uses. So it has to be set to RGB. With RGB, of course, we get these. And then all you have to do to bring this color palette here over into your Photoshop Elements is to first copy the numbers down here. You don't need that pound sign, just the numbers. Right click and copy. And now I'll open up Photoshop Elements and we'll bring this color over into Photoshop Elements. Now here we are inside of Photoshop Elements. I'm gonna need two things. First, any file open doesn't matter. And also we need the color swatches open and that's right here. There we go, color swatches. Okay, so we have those all set. Now come over here and click on the color picker. 
And right down here, you'll find that there is your hexadecimal color section right there. Just select those, right click and paste. We've now pasted that color in here from that color panel. And then choose OK. That puts that color as your foreground color. Now, just come over here to your color swatches and notice if I come down here in the gray area, you get that kind of a paint bucket thing. Just click in there, say OK, and that adds this color into your color swatches. Let's do that for all five colors. I'll quickly switch over to the other program. There we go. Let's take the next one here. Just double click, right click, copy, switch back over to Photoshop Elements, back to your color picker, right click, paste, choose OK. There it is. Back over here and tap, choose OK. There's our second color. And we'll do that three more times. So our third color, double click, right click and copy. Back to the color picker, right click, paste, choose OK. There's our third color. Double click on the hexadecimal color, right click and copy. Back to Photoshop Elements. Click on the foreground color again, right click and paste, choose OK. Back over here again and tap, there it is. And then one last time, double click, right click and copy. Click on the color picker, right click and paste, choose OK, and then tap in there. And there we go, there is that swatch set that we just created over there inside of the online Adobe Color app. We'll go back and take a look at that now. And that allows you to use this great online tool for all of these different ways of working with color and selecting color sets that actually work well together. And of course, check out my channel for more videos. And also, if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, and I'll see you next time.